Hello, and welcome to the Outback Channel. I'm your host, Junkrat the Hunkrat, and today for our Easter special, we're going to be hunting for a very, very rare species, which is the Diva Bunny. The Diva Bunny, as the locals like to describe her, is a very vicious but yet majestic creature filled with lots of annoying last voice lines, but more importantly, the eggs that we apparently ran out here in the Outback, so we need to bring her back so we can save Easter. Here we have my partner, Roadhog the Chodehog, who's going to help us capture this diva bunny and bring her safely back to the outback. Are you ready, my guy? I'm gonna take that as a yes. When hunting for a diva bunny, you have to be very calm and slow to make sure you don't disturb it. And oh my god, there is one right there. I cannot believe it. It looks so magnificent. Let's try to get it in our trapper right here. The locals are right. It is very vicious. You have to be very careful to try to lure it in. It looks like it's not a very friendly diva bunny. We're gonna have to go full force with this one. Now we have the diva bunny back in our sight, so try not to disturb it this time like my partner Chodehog the Roadhog decided to do. It seems like she has ejected out of her skin. That is actually kind of freaky. It seems that the diva bunny, what the locals like to call it, got play of the game, and I cannot believe we were able to capture this footage. Look at this majestic creature, and look at me go. We almost had it in our grasp, but looks like we're gonna have to try again. Here we actually have a local that agreed to have an interview interview with us to tell us a little bit more about the Diva Bunny. Yeah, failure. apparently this Diva Bunny's been taking all our stuff. Usually it's just Mountain Dew and Doritos, but now it's eggs. How are we supposed to paint eggs on Easter if we don't have any eggs, failure? So if we can get this Diva Bunny out of here and out of our yards, that would be greatly appreciated. After having that first interaction with the Diva Bunny on Eichenwald, I decided to take my studies elsewhere to Hanamura in Japan. As you can see right here, I have strategically placed my traps so I can try to get this Diva Bunny, and let's hope that nothing else tries to get in my trap. It seems like we got an American soldier, and it seems like he's very hostile. This is gonna be tough. As I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, trying to get this diva bunny, I see something. I see something in the distance. It's the diva bunny again. Same skin, same type. This is a tremendous day in science. We are so up close. It seems like it is another vicious diva bunny. This is gonna be even tougher. I try to scoop my way around, trying to get a better look at what's going on with the diva bunny, and I make my way at this ledge, and here you can see the diva bunny has made her way, but again, she's going full force mode, and it seems like I caught a weeb in my trap, and not the the diva bunny. Did you hear the diva mating call? Did you hear that, fellas? Did you hear that? After wandering Hanamura and not being able to find the diva bunny, I go to Watchpoint Gibraltar, but it seems like there is no diva bunny, and it seems like the locals do not want me here. It looks like I'm in trouble. They're all shooting at me. I do not know what I did. Where is my partner? He's supposed to be protecting me. It seems like I have died. And now we're lucky enough to have another interview with a local here to tell us a little bit more about the diva bunny that we don't already know about. Bro, let me tell you, I saw this diva bunny straight up in my yard. No joke, no lie, I swear on my mama, straight up. And I, t I swear on everything. This diva bunny just told me, get good, kid, and told me to kill myself. And then took all my Doritos. Like, bro, I, sp I, just, I just got those Doritos, but I was gonna have a party. But man, now I can't have it. I continue my studies in Nepal, where I still haven't eaten in three days. I'm getting really hungry and really tired. It seems like the only way that I can capture a diva bunny is being one of my own. It seems like I've discovered something even better than the diva bunny, which is basketball. And it seems like the locals like to call it <clears throat> Kobe. I do not know what that means, but these locals here are very, uh, in, in particular, I don't know how to describe them, but they seem very friendly. This is a glorious, glorious day. Since nobody at Watchpoint Gibraltar liked me, I decided to take my studies to Arizona here in Route 66, and it seems like a local is actually about to help me find this diva bunny. This is a glorious day for science and myself because this is the only way I'm going to get paid. And there is the diva bunny! We found it! We found another diva bunny! But it seems like locals actually wanted to kill me for the deal. Bruh, chill out, bruh, bruh! After doing this for three days, I'm getting really freaking sick with my TV network making me forced to do this, but it seems like we finally got the Diva Bunny. But now it's flying away. I'm not about to go home empty handed so this guy has to come home with me. And it seems like we're gonna be very close. Nobody better stop me. It seems like there's a teabag going on. We're very close to this Diva Bunny. Bruh, I gotta go home. Come on, bruh. After doing this for five days, I'm getting pretty freaking sick of doing the- it seems like we found the Diva Bunny, and we haven't had to use any force. This is a glorious day. It seems a little bit hostile. We have to leave a little trap right there. Let's try to take it home with me. I can finally see my family. I wonder how Charlie and Sarah's doing. I haven't seen them in days. Come on, Diva Bunny. I, it seems like we got it in our trap. Let's just use a little bit of nice gestures here to try to be friendly with it. Okay, let's, let's, let's just dance for him. Let's just give a little dance for this little Diva Bunny. It seems like it's now streaming <clears throat> Stallcroft. 
I, I, I don't know that if that's what the locals like to call it. It seems like this Mercy doesn't isn't having it. What are you doing, Mercy? Come on, this is my ticket home. You're gonna you're gonna kill the Devo Pony. And now it's out of its mech. Oh no. Are we gonna be able to capture it still? It seems like this Mercy is hostile. It seems like it doesn't want it. Oh no. We need to keep this Devo Bunny alive. No, it's on its last thread. It seems like it's died. <laughs> I just I just wanna go home. I just wanna see my family. I haven't seen my family in ages.